Hello, I'm Natalie Fund, a Certified Nutritional Therapist Practitioner. Today I wanted to speak mostly to women, and I guess if men are interested, stay tuned. Um, but I wanted to talk about periods today. Um, basically, like, most of us got our period in our early teens, and it's something that we've learned to live, um, to live in spite of, but haven't really, like, learned to understand why we should respect and appreciate our period. It's like this total love-hate. Like, we understand that it's part of why we are capable of creating life and how huge that is, and a lot of men are really jealous of us, as they should be. Um, but at the same time, it comes with a lot of, um, like, pain and aggravation, <laughs> you know? Just each month, um, everyone's got their own, like, set of symptoms, but you know, just like a quick picture is like breast swelling and tenderness, and sometimes that is incredibly painful for people. Bloating and water retention, where you just like, I mean, that's part of like the breast too, but you know, in your belly and even in your entire body, you probably like could put on five or more pounds, and it just doesn't feel good. It's, it's edema. It's really uncomfortable and kind of painful to the touch. Um, you, you might end up with diarrhea. Um, you might get more acne or crazy food cravings, um, you know, there's, everyone knows how important chocolate is when you're on your period, and oftentimes people crave red meat too. And um, that's your body craving certain nutrients, um, so it's, it's important to pay attention to that and make sure that you're getting good nutrients throughout the whole month so that you're not just like craving it only right then. Um, let's see, like fatigue is a huge one. Um, I still get pretty tired, but I know I used to get, like, extremely exhausted when I was on my period. Um, and then just general, like, people tend to get more headaches or migraines, um, you know, cramping in your gut, cramping lower, um, low back pain, and then on top of it, you've, you're dealing with mood swings and, like, increased emotions and anger and irritability and anxiety and an inability to concentrate. Um, and for a lot of people, it gets even worse and worse and worse. And, um, you know, as you go on different medications, like I know a lot of people who, um, you know, started out on Midol and then they eventually went to the doctor and now they get prescription drugs for their periods. Um, and it's like they'll be knocked out for a day or two every single month. And I just think that that is crazy and probably not the way God or Mother Nature intended for our bodies. Um, I think definitely we, um, you know, if you look at like Ayurvedic medicine and a few other different like concepts and theories, um, it's always been a time where women are supposed to like surrender to it a little bit and rest and take a break. Um, but that's back when, you know, we would actually let a, like allow a village to help raise the children rather than just like a super mom doing everything. Um, possibly with the help of a really good nanny. Um, but anyway, that's, that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> so basically what we're dealing with now is like pushing through. Like we'll be in so much pain and we just like take something to push through and maybe you will be knocked out for a couple days, but you get back up and you keep going and going and going. Um, so here, like, hopefully this will offer you some encouragement and excitement, um, but periods don't have to be the hell that we've um, grown up with them being, and they should not continue to get worse. Um, they can become almost painless. <laughs> um, so basically when I went on my root canal infection diet, which was um, pretty inspired by the GAPS diet, only... Um, that diet does allow for some dairy, but I can't have any. So anyway, it's a lot like the GAPS diet, G-A-P-S, go ahead and Google it if you're interested in healing any infections. Um, but basically it's a no sugar diet, it's, you know, properly sourced proteins, properly sourced omegas and healthy fats, properly sourced vegetables, um, etc. And on this diet, after the first month, I noticed I mean, I had no intention of noticing anything about my period, but let's say like on a scale of 1 to 10, my period had been around like a 7 pain-wise and irritability-wise and just not feeling like myself. It dropped down to like a 1 or below 1. Pain-wise, it was like well below 1, like practically nothing. Um, just a little bit of pressure in my low abdomen. 
Um, and then just irritability wise, like I'm not going to claim that I don't get irritable because I do. Um, and then sometimes like definitely there's a great <clears throat> greater like emotional like charge and, and push inside me, but um, I would say that it's nothing like what it used to be when I was younger or before um, about a year ago when I had gone on that diet. So definitely something worth you experimenting with, especially if periods have become something that is debilitating to you. Um, and if you're one of those people that really has to like take a painkiller and knock yourself out for a day or two, um, I mean that's not fair to you and it's not fair to the people around you and I encourage you to take a step um, forward in healing yourself, healing your reproductive system so that it's not that painful of an event every single month. <laughs> you don't deserve that. So um, if you want to learn more, I, I do have a little bit on how to heal infections um, on my blog and I'll post a link to that and you might be thinking it's not an infection, but it's really like any kind of inflammation. Um, this is a great way to start off in healing. So. Take a look at that. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. Feel free to leave comments and share. Thanks. Bye.